Hey everybody, I want to share with you a cool idea I had for a precision touchscreen stylus for your iPad, your iPhone, whatever, whatever kind of uh, capacitive touchscreen device. I have an iPhone and an iPad and I started playing with apps like Paper by 53 and Concepts and I love the immediacy that you could get uh, using the touchscreen for sketching and design. And I was amazed at the resolution you could get with these apps. But I soon got frustrated that I couldn't see that point where I was uh, trying to draw with my finger. This was of course before the amazing Apple Pen came out and I eventually got the uh, Apple, the iPad Pro with the Apple Pen. And so my stylus idea kind of fell by the wayside, but until recently, I started using the sketch feature on my iPhone for the, in Apple Notes. And then my stylus uh, became useful again. So I thought maybe some people would be interested to see how to make one for themselves. So you can do your own research to see uh, how this uh, capacitive uh, touchscreen technology works. Maybe I'll put a link down below. Uh, but basically, it's, it works by a capacitive effect. So you need something which conducts electricity, some kind of foil. So you can use uh, just uh, aluminum foil, um, anything. But for our purposes, I wanted to use something which you could see through, of course. So you can see that point where you're trying to draw. So uh, you can use this... Um, this um, static anti-static material that you get these bags which they use for um, electronic components to keep them um, away from static electricity things like hard disks and stuff you can get this from any electronic store probably any computer store they'll probably give you they probably have some spare parts spare bits they can give you the thing about this uh, touchscreen technology is that it's designed to work with your fingertip. So it's looking for a contact area that's the size of your fingertip. And it then calculates a very accurate uh, center of that uh, area. So that's why you have these uh, stylus like the Adonit, which has like a little uh, plastic disc, conductive plastic disc which contacts the surface and then the, uh, the iPhone or whatever calculates the exact middle of that for the precision and you can see through the plastic disc. But I didn't quite like that idea because of the feel of having this flat disc touching the surface. So I came up with a different idea using like a curved piece of plastic and this so something like this, which allows you to, uh, it gives a kind of a give. Yeah, so by taking some clear plastic like uh, from this packaging material and cutting uh, the uh, static material, the same size and shape, about the size of a finger, like that, and then make it curve it by putting it around something like a pen or something like that to get the shape then you can um, then you end up with a kind of a kind of a rigid semi rigid tip which has some give and it feels almost like a paintbrush or something Oh, I forgot to mention, you stick these two pieces together with double-sided tape, but not right up, but not at the end there where you want to see through. But when it's curved, then it lies nice and tight together, like that. So I made a couple of prototypes, they look something like this, just like wrapped around a piece of wooden dowel. And I made this kind of thing that goes on the end of your finger, and it works okay, but it looks a bit goofy maybe. Uh, but the most elegant was I made, I found a, kind of a, a pen, 
the metal case like this and I uh, put this cut the end off put this uh, foil sandwich in there like so and that made a very kind of elegant I think design which works very well and it looks cool kind of like an old fountain pen or something and yeah it works really well so there you have it try it okay to make a comparison here we have the apple pencil on the ipad pro running concepts Zoom in here. We can see. We can make some very detailed like that. And with the homemade stylus. We can do pretty much the same thing. You can see where we're going. And therefore we can make very precision lines. As opposed to using your finger where you can't see anything 